To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. This early colonial country retreat is known as the Peatot House, named for the first American mayor of New Orleans, James Peatot. Facing Bayou St. John, the raised Creole house was home to the Peatot family from 1810 to 1819. In the warm summer months, the first floor, or res de choise, was used for formal dining with additional space for household storage. The premier étage, the main living quarters, was on the second floor. Bedrooms and French doors opened to the cooling breezes off the bayou. The portrait in the north bedroom is of daughter Sophie Gabrielle Pitot. The south bedroom, shown in summer dress, has the headboard removed and the bed moved away from the wall for better air circulation. A Louisiana-made child's cradle is for the Pitot babies born in the house. The mahogany armoire is also a fine example of late 18th century Louisiana-made cabinetry. James Petot was the fourth owner to live in the house, built by Bartolome Bosque in 1799. Bosque was a prominent figure in the shipping trade. The mantle in the formal parlor features an anchor overlaid onto a Spanish flag. The third owner, Madame Marie Celeste Rouilleur, added the side porches to enhance the living spaces. She was the grandmother of noted artist Edgar Degas. In 1904, Mother Frances Xavier Cabrini, the first named American saint, purchased the site to build an orphanage. The land was later used to construct a girls' high school. No longer in need of an historic building, the Bosque Petot House was offered to the Louisiana Landmark Society. The society moved it nearby to its present location. During the move, the original parlor mantle was sold. An exact replica became part of movie legend. Creole mantles often have a mirror built into the overmantel with artwork above. The decorative artwork seen today was created for a scene shot at Petot House for the movie Interview with the Vampire, based on Anne Rice's novel. From Bartholomew Bosque and Madame Rieu to James Petot in a bit of Hollywood, layers of New Orleans history are preserved at Petot House, a national historic landmark on Bayou St. John. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection. Additional support provided by the Gale and Tom Benson Charitable Foundation.